Mm, I know. Come on, Michelle. Cut it out. Leo, this is a message for you. All for you. Um, it's very interesting because it's a very lovely feeling right now. It's, it's centered around there's a missed opportunity from the past. Um, if you think that's too general, this is a general reading. <laughs> but um, I have to say, I really do think it is a missed opportunity of something that you really could have loved. Something that had to do directly with your heart space. Now, um, yes, you can translate that into a romance reading. If you want a Leo romance reading from Born Without Boundaries, that is in the extended. You get two readings in one. The tarot card reading, that explicitly details everything. And then you also get your romance reading. So that link is below, FYI. But for right now, let's, let's talk about this as big love because it really had your heart you really had your heart set on it. Um, and maybe, just maybe, it wasn't the right time. You know, not everything happens when you want it to. Uh, some things you just have to let it play out when it's ready to. Um, but something about this is really attached to your heart. And there's so much happiness and joy Um about the reality of it being in your life. It's a very tender, gentle feeling for you. This is the channeled message, by the way. I have oracle cards waiting, sitting in front of me, and then I'll read those to you. And then I will go into your um, animal totem messages. So you'll know how the messages are coming through the 3D world to you. And then you'll get your angel messages at the end, okay? So, It's a, t it's a, I think it's a relief. That's what it feels like. A relief because maybe you thought things were worse than they were. Let me explain this missed opportunity. Maybe that's better. So I'm channeling this energy as something from your youth. I'm channeling this energy as um, centered around a person, um, something to do with where you studied, what you studied, who you were studying with, a class you were taking. Um, I'm channeling this energy as a, an, an, a two ships passing in the night kind of scenario. Um, meeting with somebody, um, talking with them, there has something to do with a, a communication, uh, a, a, a conversation that you didn't expect, you didn't see it coming. Um, um, and it was a sort of enlightening, you know? Now, this is the thing. They didn't look the way that you wanted them to look which is hard for a Leo because you're so very much, sometimes you're very much focused on, you know, glamour or looking gorgeous, right? Um, and I'm not saying that they were ugly. I'm just saying that they didn't, they, let's put it this way, you didn't expect what you got from them. Um, and for some reason, you got off on the wrong foot at another time and things didn't go, I mean, Maybe this is the thing. They weren't supposed to go that direction. They weren't supposed to be. This person could have been your next business partner, right? They could have been your next best friend. I think sometimes, especially Leos, we want to we want to jump right to romance. We want to we want to go right to the big caboodle because you rule the how the fifth house the fifth house, and that's the house of romance and romantic love. Uh, not necessarily partnership, but the concept, the ideology of romance, having a romantic brain, and not necessarily just love interest, like, like, but like romance as in ideology. And this is like sort of idealisms. And maybe that's where you bonded, because the two of you have very close ideologies and ideologies you could talk about for a very long time, and really just enjoy this conversation, perhaps this was a circumstance where very rarely, uh, things did not get physical for you because you just enjoyed 
the intellect. You, 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 you enjoyed the, the, the exchange. And this sits as somebody who's uniquely different for that reason. There is a missed turn of events for the two of you. I think later on down the road, there was a miscommunication um, of some sort that turned you off or put you off. Um, but they still in some ways fascinate you or what they stand for or their ideologies or what they speak of or maybe just who they are as a human being. All of that is a channeled scenario. Now understand this, this could be representative of your career. It could be representative. It could have a lot to do with your career. It could have been, you could have been bought. To, there's something to do with education here. Maybe even hoping for the best, hoping for an education, aspirations. I'll figure that out because there's cards in front of me that I want to, I want to really want to get to. Um, but there's definitely some sort of um, di divergence um, along the way of, of like weird, it's weird communication. That's all I can ex explain. It's weird communication. It's like, how did we get there from here? Um, you know, it, it was, there was a disappointment. I don't know if it was on your side or their side, but there's, there's a big feeling of disappointment and a big feeling of, wow, I thought that, that they were different. <laughs> but they, the, <laughs> um, or I thought that they'd take it differently. You know, something that, let's put it this way, something that really turned you off to somebody that had before really turned you on and not necessarily turned you on like sexual arousal, but turned you on as in, this is a cool, this is a cool dude. This is a cool chick. This is somebody that I um, could really have respect for. And that doesn't, I don't think that that comes very easily for Leos, you know, that that moment of, yeah, some people are cool and yeah, some people are good looking, but those those are rare finds when you thought, I respect this person. Like this is this is somebody that makes me want to be better at being human. Um and unfortunately there was there was uh there's a parting there's a parting of ways now how the time scale goes i'm not really sure we'll get into the details in the tarot card reading i'll t try to take a checklist of what exactly i'm going to ask tarot but um um let's get into the oracle cards in front of me so i have in the beginning unicorn invite serendipity and if you see her very carefully she's got a lot of um Virgo markings, right? She has Mercury and she has the Virgo marking around her neck. So you're talking about somebody who is innocent, somebody maybe who was a virgin at the time or virgin could be in the context of just, you know, not having much experience or being new to something, somebody who is just starting out, somebody who is very, at this point, aspirational, somebody who um, kind of has their whole life ahead of them or or at the time had their whole life ahead of them um, and were very stood out as unique because of their innocence, their purity of purpose and spirits. Um, maybe they were a Virgo. I, I don't know. I'm not confirming that. Um, but it does invite serendipity as in invite balance. And serendipity is like, you know, like when the timing uh, that's synchronicity, right? No, I don't think so. Uh, a serendipitous event is um, is when something happens for a reason. Like there's a special moment that stands out as particularly special because it just struck. It's almost like when you're aware that you hit your destiny benchmark at one point in your life. This was a, a, a circumstance that was just so out of the ordinary that you you would know, you would always remember it. Now, letting go, learn to let the past go is also here. Um, maybe there were a, a, um, expectations, but also um, um, I, I, I just feel like there's some sense of like, learn to let the past go. Go. Ooh, you can tell me what images that you see in there. Learn to let the past go. Um, what was spoken, what was said, almost like calling somebody back. 
calling them into your life or, or reaching out because if there has been a divide, do you see like there's a divide? If there's been a separation or there, in other words, there is a pathway back is what I'm saying. That moment wasn't necessary. Have you ever seen that movie Serendipity? I think it was um, Kate Beckinsale and um, I see his face. I see his face. He played Denny in, um, in, um, Stand by me. Um, John Cusack. Yes. Okay. Yay. Hey. Um, so I feel like, I feel like it's almost like that moment in time always connected you to that person. There was always a connection, um, from that point on. So there's never a reason to not be able to reach out because what I'm saying is they remember it as special too. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Love. Mm. And there we have it <laughs> right there in the center. And what, what, what are you but not love? And see all the green undertones. It's the heart chakra. This is really about being in the right heart space and being true to yourself. That's why she's looking in the mirror, you know, the, or looking in her reflection is learning to love your own self and maybe this is what it was somebody you you had to learn to love you you had to learn to grow and no i'm not joking because you're leo i'm serious like you really had to learn to love who you are and not just who you needed to paint on or who you needed people to think you were no this is just the truth the truth about you and what's really interesting about this serendipitous moment in your life is that's what you felt like you felt like the real you you felt like you were actually being seen for the first time in raw form and not having to impress anybody at all. It's like the king or the queen, Leo, that finally gets to take off their crown and just be the human, you know? And so this was a time in your life when this person kind of could, could be your mirror of, of who you, you are, who you really are. And you could see nuances of maybe even who you wanted to be because it was a place that you felt safe to be vulnerable. Very, very interesting. Um, I wanna go to this card next. It's really cool. Listen to it. I am bonded. And you know, this could be love, but it's two little kids. So it's it's friendship. And this reminds me of the Six of Cups. It's not the Six of, of, six of Cups, but it reminds me of it because it's, it's so innocent. I mean, it's just so, it's love in its purest form without any sex or expectations. This is this is friendship, but a little bit elevated because there's almost a, a kinship or a twinship, even though you don't look like each other. Um, there's not, this is not a real relative or a real relation, or I mean, I, I shouldn't say that because for some of you, maybe it is, but this is definitely like, um, you never met anybody like this person before. And it's almost like this moment between the two of you was eternal. Does that make sense? How like as if the best way that I can really explain it to you. Um, so this is your striving. This is your goal. This is somebody that balances you out, you know, and 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 is your safety net and and helps to uh, remind you of which ways you can go, which ways you can fall. Um, they don't want you to fall. This is this is this is this is inspiration to stay balanced and a person with just the right harmony to keep you harmonized um it it is definitely uh it's it's definitely somebody who would keep you on your toes that's kind of what this card is talking to me it's saying this person would keep you on your toes because they don't see the world in a different in a, in in the same way as everybody else they're 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 a, di a bit odd and whimsical Let's put it that way. And then we have uh, moving on, knowing that it's time to let go, knowing that it's time to let go of something from the past, maybe even people from the past. Maybe you're thinking of letting or ha you you find yourself at a point where you have to, um, oh, okay, <laughs> the time came off, where you have to let this person go because it's just, it's just time to say goodbye to them and not, I, I don't know, it's, it's still in peace. It's not in hatred it's it's somebody's growing up and it's time to let them 
right? It's almost like you just moved on from each other. You didn't because you were you were finding your own lives. You were finding your own directions. Lenormand came up and this came up solo and it came out first and that's love and romance and 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 your heart, the heart. I got love, I got bonded. I got I got heart. I mean, this is like um it's all about truth and destiny. Um this is about loving loving your studies, loving what you what you studied or what you researched or loving the discussion of it, loving the talk about it, loving um loving to think about it. And this is what I mean, did you study the same thing in college? I don't know, but but you really you really like you really enjoyed it or somebody who has a great appreciation for education. Let's put it that way. It could also be that as well, right? And then we have the the rest of the Norman. Uh there's a lot of chatter, there's a lot of discussion, which way to go. There was so there was a conversation Convergence. It's almost like one for there was you were going in all different directions or you're still going in all different directions. But every once in a while, there's just a convergence between the two of you. You can't stop crossing paths or hitting paths. And this person is about to reemerge in your life because you've been thinking about them. It's saying reach out. Reach out. Talk to them. Something stopped you from something keeps stopping you or preventing you. It's like something's scaring you or there's a danger ahead. You think, you, and I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's petty shit that happens between you. And I, I'll tell you right now, this person doesn't feel like it. Well, they might feel a little bit weird too, because they wouldn't expect to hear from you, but it's, 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 it's the petty shit that's stopping you from reaching out. And so spirit is coming in here and saying, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat, don't sweat the little shit. I mean, oh my God, there's so much life that we have to live, Leo. Um, and, and it's petty and it's petty. And even if it's embarrassing, right? Even if it's something that the two of you have to talk about, um, that's the courage of the two of you together is you can discuss awkward, strange, because that's why Virgo came out, right? That you can discuss weird stuff in a way that is very um okay it yeah this would be the person perfect person to be able to to discuss that with and then it's like love your body love who you are this is you don't have to be anybody but yourself this is uh, acceptance of everything that you are it could also have to do with your something about body images or body issues or uh, being embarrassed about your body or the way that you look or something about your body but it's really petty. And it could have been maybe being petty. Maybe that's what kind of broke you, bro not broke you up, but made you go separate ways with something about like these petty things about, you know, people's looks or body, like your body image or your body part that, that made you feel not good enough or them feel not good enough or got you to be, the two have put you two in an awkward situation. I don't know, but there's something to do around it. And it's, the message is, it's like you're putting too much focus on that stupid shit and not enough on the mind and how they make you feel. That kind of energy. Okay, if you really like this video so far, please like this video and then share it on your social media platforms. Also, bam, subscribe to the channel. And then ring that bell and hit all notifications. You will know then, you'll get notified then when I upload Leo videos by 6 a.m. every single Friday. As well as your moon sign, your rising sign. Check those out too because if you want a really well-rounded reading, you should really check out all three of those energies. Sun, moon, and rising. Um, there's always... And extended. You can also subscribe directly to the Vimeo platform. It's free and you get uh, access to the extended slash romance reading every single day, like a day before the link comes out here. And that's also where I post a weekly astrological forecast, uh, which breaks down the week day by day. Um, and that's over there. So uh, go check that shit out too. And that, that video is totally free. Uh, last but not least, please join me over on Instagram. Monday through Friday, I do a live daily tarot card reading over on Instagram. And we it's a general motivation reading. It's for everybody. And we talk about different really topics of interest every single time. So um, yeah, I, I just, I welcome you and I hope to see you over there. Let's get into your animal totem reading, Leo.
Okay, let's start out with, oh, embrace the in-between. So, so this is finding harmony, finding a peace, finding a compromise. Um, yeah, finding a compromise. Um, working together, working in, in unison. Um, cause this is Libra energy. It's about partnership. It's about finding a compromise and working together and not trying to stand out, but in the process of not trying to stand out, um, being unique, being unique in unison. <laughs> that makes sense. Time to heal, which is clearing up whatever, was on the outside of this circumstance or situation and it's time to find a compromise so that you can heal this situation that's what it's saying uh, and the and it's saying the compromise will heal the situation um be here now so this is really lovely time be playful this is also lovely it's just something lovely something that is hard to take your eyes off of and it brightens your day and makes you feel joy just looking at it it's always something of interest. That's what I'm getting. It just feels very interesting to you. Hummingbirds, of course, mean playfulness and um, happiness and joy of the moment. And so I, I think what this card is saying is seize the moment. Seize the day. Seize the day, boys. <laughs> That's um, Robin Williams, of course, in his, I think, Academy Award winning role in Dead Poet Society. Um, <laughs> here we go. Be fearless and bold. Go ahead and take action. When the Aries card comes out, because this is Aries energy, it says take action, do it, and do it now. Do it now. Get lost in the moment, react, trust your instincts, and take the chance. Go ahead, Leo, do it now. It says that's what it means, is take, take action, take action, take action, take action. Let yourself out, like show it out loud, but put a light on it, shine a star on it. This is, um, yeah, this is you shedding light on something. Oh, my arm hurts. Uh, shedding, shedding your light on something. Um, um, be fearless and bold. It's time to come out. It's time to uh, basically do the expose, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. Um, it's also, it's time to shine and, and allow yourself to be very bright, be your, be the, be the bright one. You know, uh, you, you never have trouble shining open to infinite possibilities. That's what it is. It's just like something different. Cause that's very Aquarius energy. Um, something different, something exceptional and something odd that is just perfect. Uh, there is always enough. So there's a lot of emotion that's floating on around here. This is Piscean energy, very water energy. There's, a, I feel like there's a lot of emotions that were, I think, undiscussed or flapped back and forth. I think, and you'll also find uh, unexpected, mysterious things coming up, uh, unexpected emotions that you didn't know that you even had, and learn from the past. Uh, I told you, this is all connected to the past. Um, learn from it because clearly whatever went wrong in the past you don't you don't want to repeat it um there was something that 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 i don't think you know or you realize it's almost like you're still in question like what happened how did how did it, how did it, how did it mess up um and when elephant shows up it's like confront it head on that's that's the way to deal with this energy. Let's move on to your, I like to look at the timestamp because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but let's move on to what the angels have to say to you and how crazy it is that it feels like they listen to this reading. I just, it's amazing. I don't think a lot of people hang out for the angel readings, but I'll tell you something. They're the best. Compassion. Uh, when you show greater compassion toward yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings, compassion. Uh, so maybe there's something that you, you need to forgive yourself for. And is that impossible? Really? I mean, you know, our mistakes don't define us. How we come back from our mistakes do. Vision. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. 
Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. So just make it about love, make it about truth, make it about acceptance. Um, and then we have adventure. Ooh, instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between. Can't be divided in polar on this. This is we're going to require full spectrum. Mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs. Someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all it takes. We're all human in this. All of us. Forgiveness. Let the past go. And we said that too, right? Letting go. Learn to let go. And then you also got elephant energy. Uh, clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. Okay? This also means that forgiveness is ready on both sides. And then precious gift. Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what is most important. I love you guys. Let's go to tarot. I will see you below.